Welcome to Awesome Paints, I'm Awesome, and I like to 3D print and paint nerd stuff. Is there a more iconic symbol in entertainment than the Pokeball? Will Nintendo sue me for making this? These are questions for wise men with skinny arms. All I know is Pokeball cool, me make one. This one will be pretty simple, but fun nonetheless. Help me reach 1000 subs and subscribe to see more projects like this. I'm only able to make this thanks to the great work from the individual who designed it. They are the ones who implemented the hinge and magnet design, so applause goes to them. The link will be in the description, along with any products you see used or that I would recommend. All right, let's begin. We'll import our 3D print model into Chi2Box to prepare it for printing. All these pieces are nicely separated, which will make painting a breeze. I want to focus more on the painting aspect for these videos, so I'll try to make more in-depth videos on the actual 3D printing side at a later time. I will shout out the resin I use. I'm a huge fan of Sunlu Standard Resin. Not only is it incredibly affordable, it doesn't have an odor as bad as others I've used. This is my go-to resin for almost all projects, so I highly recommend it and Sunlu should sponsor me. Anyway, we skip the printing and cleaning part and ta-da, all the pieces ready to prep for paint. You guys know what that means. It's sanding time. Pretty straightforward stuff here. Heavier sanding on areas with support marks that I need to get rid of, light sanding to smooth it out, and to smooth out any minor layer lines. While I show the sanding process, I'll take a moment to talk about my experience with Pokemon. I don't play the games anymore. Gen 6 was my last time playing when it was released. I'm old and played Pokemon Red way back when it was released, and I still have my gold Pikachu edition Game Boy Color. Don't have any of the games for it any longer, but I actually only ever owned three Pokemon games my entire life. The first was Red, then Gold, and I didn't buy another one until Pokemon Y for the 3DS. I have played all the mainline games from Gen 1 to 6, I just emulated them. Naughty, naughty. I've considered doing some different content like a Nuzlocke, but I have to 3D print a Pokemon if this or that happens, so if you find that potentially interesting, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, final stage in the prep work is to prime the pieces. My favorite primer is Mr. Surfacer 1000. It acts as a slight filler primer and just leaves an amazingly smooth surface. For you newbie painters, primer acts as an initial layer that will help further paint layers adhere better to the surface. Is it necessary? You could get away without using it, but it's recommended 9 times out of 10. All right, everything but the white half of the shell is getting painted in high gloss black. This paint was extracted from a standard Rust-Oleum paint can to spray through my airbrush. I did a video on this if you want to see exactly how to decant spray paints. Just keep in mind, these paints are enamel and take two to three days to dry to where you can continue working on them. It takes even longer for them to fully cure. Like I said, this is a super glossy black, and the reason I'm painting parts that aren't going to end up black is because I want to try out a metallic look. Anytime you paint with metallics, so your silvers or golds, painting over gloss black will help that metallic shine even more. After painting everything else in black, I paint the shell with this pearlescent white that was also from a spray can. The bottom half of the Pokeball and the button will be in this color. At first it appears silver due to the gray primer layer, but after a few coats, the white becomes apparent. Here's a neat trick. Don't throw away empty spray cans. You can use sticky tack to adhere stuff onto them and use them as handles. So here's where I try to use this chrome paint. This stuff is tricky to work with and the surface you're spraying onto has to be super smooth for it to have a mirror finish like the chrome on my airbrush. I didn't achieve that look exactly, but they still look pretty good. After some assembly, we're done. What the hell is this? I just thought it would be neat to show you what a black Pokeball would look like. Instead of chrome for the outer shell, I'm doing gold. No, we're not making a gold Pokeball, though I'm kicking myself for not filming how that looked like when I was painting. I'm going to do a candy coat of red over the gold. Normally candy coats are done on top of silver, but for the warmer colors, doing it over gold looks way better in my opinion. 
Speaking of which, I use Tamiya's clear green, red, and blue thinned with Mr. Color Loveling Thinner. I give them a good mix with my paint mixer, load them into the airbrush, and then I'll apply a thin layer of red over the gold. I'm applying the candy coat in multiple thin layers. Trying to get that vibrant look I'm after in one go is just begging for paint to pool and drip. I'll then do the same for blue and green over their respective parts. Unfortunately, and this is why I should do tests beforehand, the clear color subdued the metallic look of the silver underneath. Still looks good, but just not as metal looking as it was before. So here's where I give you guys a lesson in taste. Here's the Pokeball assembled with a gloss finish. Oh, look at all the bright colors. Meh. Maybe it's a bit too glossy and a more subdued gloss would look all right, but not to me. So here's the plan. I want some variation, so the button will remain glossy, but I'm going to make the outer shells matte. Matte over metallic? Let me show you guys how good this technique is. My favorite matte is this polyurethane by Vallejo. Super matty. I'll spray on the white and red shells. It will go on wet, but will dry matte. Now everything else gets a gloss finish. So the black frame, the blue and green parts, though I ended up going back and matte coating the blue just to add a little bit more variation inside. Before showing you how the shells turned out, I need to still paint the interior gloss black as the insides will be metallic silver. So I masked the outside with tape and along the edges I used the incredibly helpful Silly Putty. It doesn't need to be perfect on the inside edges since the black frame will hide these edges once assembled. And once the black is dried, I come back over it with that same chrome silver. We're done with the painting, and now we can assemble. This model was made with this particular hinge and these magnet sizes in mind. I'll link these in the description below so you can build it yourself if you're interested. I'm going to use two-part epoxy to permanently set the hinge in place. I'll make sure it's aligned straight, and I won't use too much glue as we don't want any glue getting into the hinge and preventing it from working. I'll then glue the magnets and button into place. I'm not going to bother gluing the blue and green bit as the paint makes the fit super tight so it'll hold on without issue. And here's the final result. Next time, I think I'll paint the blue parts in gold. Also, there's unfortunately some minor imperfections in the paint, likely because I didn't wait long enough between certain coats. Other than that, I really love how this turned out, especially the amazing soft metallic look of the outer shells. The matte finish also gives the surface a real smooth feel in the hand. And of course, it looks so cool in the display box. I'll link that in the description too. Just note that I had to shave down the ring it sits on for the lid to seat properly as the Pokeball is just a little too big for this case. This was a relatively easy project and I hope I showed you guys that anyone can make it. I'm still trying to establish the identity of this channel and what kinds of videos I focus on. So please leave feedback in the comments as I read and respond to every single one. If you guys like this video, you might be interested in another I'm working on where I make something quite similar to a Pokeball. So please like the video and subscribe. And until next time, take care.